everyone welcome back to my channel for those that are new hi my name is diana you're very welcome to check out my channel and if you end up liking it go ahead and subscribe so for today's video i'm just gonna do a get ready with me i haven't done a get ready with me in like six months i think i think it was six months but anyways i am just going to give y'all some life updates like what's been going on in my life and stuff <laughs> because yeah i've just been traveling back and forth to houston and i am a little exhausted from traveling a lot and yeah that's why i haven't really been uploading a lot of videos lately because life has been really busy lately <laughs> anyways i am gonna start with my makeup you guys i still haven't even unpacked i got back on sunday which was july 31st and i'm going back again tomorrow which probably by the time i upload this video it's i'm already gonna be like on my way to houston or i'm already in houston but yeah i am going back again <laughs> and then a few days after that i'm going to mexico because omar um goes to the dentist in mexico which yes it is kind of for to be honest but it's just like the dentist and doctors and you know, over there are very, very, like, affordable. I know some of y'all are gonna say, like, ain't it, like, the same thing, like, um, spending the same amount of money. The thing about here is they do charge you a lot of money. For example, for me, I got a root canal uh, in Mexico, and I only paid, like, around, like, I only paid, like, around $280 for a root canal. Yeah, which was, like, really cheap. <laughs> Garfield is on my lap and my legs are sore because I went to the gym. Oh yeah, I started going to the gym. But anyways, like I was saying, um, a root canal here is very, very expensive, especially with insurance. Like you still have to pay like a lot of money. Uh, well, depending what insurance you have, there's some good insurance where like it covers, but the one that I had, it did not cover a lot. So yeah, I'd rather just take a trip to Mexico and you know, enjoy you know spending my money in mexico but yeah i got my root canal and they actually did a good job yeah i got root canal in the my one of my molars like the the top ones and they actually made it look really really natural like it just looks really good and i was just so happy about it but yeah that's what has been happening right now for those that are new and who don't know who omar is omar is my husband and um uh, he actually needs to go back to the dentist because he got something done and it's something that he has been really really insecure about honestly i'm not gonna say here i'm probably gonna do a vlog and let him tell y'all because i'm not sure if he wants me to tell the whole world what he has gotten done so like i just feel like it's not like my place for me to tell everyone like what he got done so like if we do a vlog i'm gonna just see if he wants to tell y'all or not which i haven't been vlogging <laughs> yeah like i've been wanting to vlog but i just haven't vlogged the thing is, like, I want to vlog, but the only camera I have is this one that I'm filming on right now. And it's actually very, very heavy, so I do not want to vlog on that camera. I hate vlogging with this camera. It's just really, really heavy. Like, I feel like it's not, like, it's not meant to vlog. And then, like, the autofocus is just, it just takes too long to focus, to be honest. Like, I don't know if y'all could tell from my other videos where, like, it kind of like gets out of focus and then it takes a while to get in focus and it's just very very frustrating <laughs> so i kind of want to get like another camera to just vlog with something that's not very heavy and and then i would vlog on my phone but the thing is like my phone doesn't really have a lot of storage i have the iphone 11 pro it only has i think 64 gigabytes yeah 64 gigabytes i know like i should get something that has more gigabytes but honestly i don't know what i was thinking i thought it was like enough gigabytes for me i should have gotten something with more gigabytes now i kind of regret it i mean i could still buy a new phone but i just don't feel like spending but i don't know i just 
feel like I don't need a new phone, but at the same time, I do. I feel like I do because I need more storage because sometimes I need to download some apps and I don't have storage for it. I do need a phone with more storage because sometimes whenever you go to doctor's appointments, they want you to download this app so you can see your records. Like at the vet, they told me to download the app to see like my cat's results and I'm like, oh. I don't got storage. So Omar would be the one downloading all those apps because <laughs> he's the one who has more storage. He has like a hundred and something gigabytes in his phone and yeah. If y'all have a question about some product, let me know in the comments down below. I'll let you know what product I used. I don't know what to do with my eyes. Like I do want to go crazy on my eyes, but how much time do I have? I have one hour. I have an hour to get ready because Omar is going to get his hair cut. And he told me to be ready by then. And since I was kind of done cleaning my whole apartment, um, I was like, what should I do now? I remembered, I was like, I should like do a video because it's been a while. I haven't done a video on my channel. And I was honestly like thinking like, what kind of video should I do? Because I'm running out of ideas. And then I was like, you know what? I need to give y'all like a life update because... It's been a while that I haven't even filmed and I know some people are like wondering why I'm not filming and stuff. My brows are uneven or is it just me? Is it just me or my brows are... I think my brows are uneven to be honest. But I don't know, it's whatever, it's so good and either way this hair is gonna cover it. <laughs> but yeah, like I decided to do a get ready with me type of video and then I have some topics here written down so i can you know update y'all with some stuff but yeah but first things first i didn't even tell y'all how my parents anniversary wedding went hold on first let me find some inspo so i am just gonna go on pinterest and be like makeup inspo i don't know <laughs> i'm like kind of wondering if i should do something colorful something just neutral or something just simple I don't know. You know what? I kind of want to do something like that. Something just simple. Honestly, I don't even have blue eyeliner. <laughs> like they have like brown eyeshadow on the crease and then on the on the lid they have like kind of like a cream color or like a goldy bronzy shimmer I think. I don't know. I can't tell. I should just copy that credits to whoever this is i don't even know if they have a little watermark thingy or they doesn't say the name but credits to whoever did this eye makeup but yeah like my parents anniversary wedding went pretty well no it fell but yeah like everything went smooth and good the only thing is like we did mess up at the church because we we didn't really know what to do i think like we got the lady frustrated the one that like taught us like the day before me and my siblings kind of forgot what we were supposed to do and i feel like we got the the lady that made us practice really frustrated because she was there but to be honest we didn't even like practice practice that well because the thing is the lady that was like you know making us practice um she was like explaining it to us as like we were like kind of practicing but like we were kind of like getting all confused because she was like the way how she was explaining it it was kind of like confusing so me and my siblings were just very very confused my parents kind of got a little upset that that we kind of messed up at the church but like at least their vows are renewed and they should be at least happy with it <laughs> oh and i have to tell you something on that day of the wedding or whatever um everything was kind of in a rush so my makeup and my hair didn't come like they didn't turn out the way how i wanted it someone did do my hair but the thing is like i wanted some extra volume so like i took some you know extensions so they can make my hair voluminous i mean my hair didn't turn out bad but it's just like not the way how i wanted it because i wanted it more voluminous and i kind of wanted like my ponytail a little bit more up and the girl didn't really like do the ponytail like all the way up here but yeah like my mom chose this hair salon i'm gonna lie the manicures and the pedicures they do 
a really good job on it but like the hair um they did a really good job on my mom but with mine like they did an okay job the only thing is like i said i wanted more volume in my and i wanted my ponytail a little bit more higher but the girl that i ended up with um she had like really really long nails those nails were like long they were like this long like she kept redoing my half ponytail like three times and then my hair kept getting stuck in between her nails and to be honest i was getting like a little frustrated but like since i'm very very nice i just kept letting her do her thing because at the end i was gonna tell her like you know what i'll just go home and do my own my own hair i know she was trying her best and stuff i just feel like if you're gonna be doing hair like do not have like very very long nails like that because her nails were long and whenever I first saw her, saw her nails, I was like, oh no. Like, I know she's going to end up taking long with my hair. Because the first, the first time she was, like, trying to do the high ponytail, well, half ponytail on me. Like, she was kind of, like, struggling with her nails. Like, the hair, like, my hair kept getting caught in her nails. And I was just like, Ugh, this is going to be bad. <laughs> I just feel like she could have done way better if she didn't have, like, those long nails. But... You know, it's whatever. My hair was done. <laughs> yeah, my parents' anniversary wedding was good. Um, I did not look pretty at all that day. It's just like everything, it was kind of messed up. Like my makeup wasn't good. My hair wasn't like the way how I wanted it. The dress wasn't the dress that I wanted. Because the dress that I wanted, it wasn't, it didn't come in my size. And then also like they ran out. So the only size they had was like a size large. And then those dresses, like they kind of run small. So I was like actually a size medium. So I'm going to do the eyeliner with concealer. Might not look exactly like the picture because I do have hooded eyes. Hopefully it comes out good. I'm just going to probably do like a thin line. I'm just going to start right here. All right, now I'm gonna add some eyeshadow, and I am add. I'm going to add like this jade type of green because I decided to go with like green instead of like a blue. Time for the other eye. I am gonna do this one off camera, and then I'll be back. Honestly, I feel like I'm not going to put any lashes. I am just going to put some mascara. Since it's something very simple and yeah. Um, I might just end up putting some individual lashes and that's it. I'm going to put some of this foundation. i got to make sure all of my hair is out of the way. I'm actually going to go ahead and wet this one. My boy, he's sleeping. Hold on, let me turn the camera. Do y'all see him? Excuse our nightstand. It's a little messy. But look how my boy looks. He's sleeping. He's so tired. All right, camera towards me because I am the spotlight. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, so what has happened after the wedding? Oh yeah, I got my hair cut. I have short hair finally. I've been waiting for this moment because I've just been counting the days on when. Well, not counting the days, but I was just looking at my length because I told myself once it gets past my butt, I was going to chop it all off. But yeah, I couldn't wait for it to get past my butt. Like I couldn't stand the long hair with this heat. Like if y'all live in Texas, y'all know how the heat is over here. Yeah, so yeah, I donated 16 and a half inches. And honestly, like a lot of people love me in short hair. They say that short hair looks really, really good on me. They say also long hair looks good on me, but they say that they see me more in short hair than long hair. And also because I don't even do a lot with my hair. Um, why is the camera? Hold on. There we go. I don't know why the camera looks so up but anyways like yeah like I don't really do much with my 
long hair and i feel like with short hair i do a lot more with my short hair i kind of straighten it i kind of style it a little i kind of like i just don't feel lazy on doing my hair anymore because of you know how short my hair is yeah like i will see a lot of girls with long hair having their hair done styling it and stuff and i'm just like how do you have the patience for that but yeah like i remember there was this one year that i told myself like i am gonna start doing my hair but then i would see all this long hair and i'm like hey, kind of don't want to anymore <laughs> but i don't know like what do you guys prefer long hair or short hair like on you not on me <laughs> like what do you prefer on yourself like long hair or short hair to me i prefer short hair it's just so much easier i don't know like i feel like everyone has a preference there's people that have a lot of patience with you know doing their hair i honestly don't have patience to do my hair i get too lazy but anyways like have you guys ever donated your hair and with who like which charity did you donate it to or to whom you donated to um there's a lot of hair charities that i had to choose from and I didn't know which one to choose. I just do, so I just chose one. And also, I just did my research. So hopefully, whenever they get my hair, they will love it as much as I did. Because I did love my hair. Although I don't like having long hair, I did think that my hair was beautiful. Oh, another thing is Omar wants to get another cat. And not just any cat. He wants another orange cat. And I don't know if y'all heard about orange cats being the crackheads. <laughs> like they always say a lot of things about them that they have no brain cells, they're crackheads, and they're the craziest cats and all that. Like I don't know if that's actually true or not, but to me it feels like it's true because this cat, he can be a crackhead, total crackhead. Like, he does some crazy stuff. I wouldn't trade the world for him. Like, he makes me laugh a lot. And he keeps a lot of things off my mind. I wouldn't trade him over anything. Not at all. Not even a billion dollars. Nothing. Like, he's my baby. I love him. Like, eventually, yes, I would want another cat. But would I want another orange one? No. <laughs> as much as I love Garfield, I think... One orange cat is enough. And like I actually want to adopt like like a gray cat. In the future, I actually want like a full breed. I don't know. Do y'all have any cats? And what kind of cats do you have? Like were they adopted? Are they full breed? Um, are they mixed? Are they... I don't know. Like what kind of cats do you have? And also like what other pets do you have? Like let me know what pets do y'all have. I love pets. I love having pets. They're like the best. I honestly want my own house already because I kind of want to get another bunny. I miss I miss having a bunny. For those of you that are new and don't know, I did have a bunny. She ended up passing away in December and we had to put her down because she did have fluid in her lungs and they said that they found something else that that could be cancerous and for that they can't really do a lot of they couldn't really do a lot because of her age and everything that was going on with her was because of her age and i remember whenever i was doing my research for you know the lifespan of a mini rex i said between seven to eight years my bunny was about to be seven years old like her birthday was in six days but yeah like she passed away six days before her birthday and yeah it was like the saddest moments dude i am about to cry but anyways like that day was the saddest day of our lives there was no other option than to put her down because they told us that they could keep her hospitalized for at least three days but they said that most likely it might not work and so i was like you know what's the point on putting her in pain than to just you know end it for her she lived like a very very long life she been with she has been with us through it all like whenever we're broke whenever we didn't have anything like i remember there was a time we didn't have any money to feed her so 
what we would do is we would like go to the grocery store and then we would just try to get like some cilantro or some kale something so she could eat and then sometimes like we wouldn't have like enough to eat ourselves so now we are okay we are able to afford everything for our pets and like I'm just so happy that you know I was <laughs> And then I cry. Why did I even talk about this while doing my makeup? Like I could have just saved it for another time. But anyways, like I'm just so happy that I was able to keep her for that long. Like she almost reached, you know, her lifespan. And I'm just so proud of myself to be able to call myself a good pet parent. The only time that I felt like I was a bad pet parent was whenever we had to put her down, but I mean, it was like the only option we had, to be honest. Even the vet suggested us to just put her down because I was like, if if you were me, like, what would you do? If you ever had to put your pet down, you know how hard it is to say the word yes to the vet to put them down. My husband cried in that moment, and he never cries for like a lot of like bad things that go on in his life and to be honest that moment that was like the first time I've ever seen him like cry that bad there was like three nights where he had like sleepless nights because it was just like he was like reliving that nightmare again but yeah like we had to get through it ourselves and you know he had a distraction I kind of didn't have a distraction because like I would be at home a lot but the good thing is like i had friends that would like you know check up on me and call me facetime me to see you know how i was doing and also like those people that were snapchatting me you know to just like to check up on me to see how i was doing which i really really like appreciated it because like honestly it did like feel like i needed someone there to keep on the lookout for me because you do get really depressed whenever you know whenever your pet is gone and you know she was like my first responsibility the first pet that I had to pay for food out of my own pocket and I had to take her to the vet and pay for her out of my own money unlike you know my childhood pets where my parents would literally have to pay for every vet visit, every food. Like honestly, I was actually trying to get prepared. Like I was like, yeah, I'm prepared for whenever, you know, she needs to be gone. You know, whenever it's her time, it's her time. And then whenever that day came, it's like, you are not prepared at all. Like no matter how much you try to put your mind to be prepared for that, like you're never mentally prepared. Yeah, like I thought I was mentally prepared for that, but I wasn't. Okay, I am just gonna go ahead and put some mascara. Ah, I put too much mascara on these lashes. Now they look so clumped. That's one thing I didn't want is for them to look clumped. I'm gonna put some on my bottom lashes. Okay, meanwhile, I am just gonna add some blush. While I wait for the mascara to kind of dry. Oh yeah, I'm gonna contour my nose. I forgot about that. Okay, I already added some mascara to my bottom lashes. I am gonna go ahead and add these little lashes onto my lashes because I feel like my lashes are not that full and I kind of want, you know, my lashes to be a little full. And yeah, so I am gonna go ahead and put these on off camera and I'll be right back. All right, just some finishing touches, and then I am going to go ahead and end the video. Now I need some setting spray. And then I'm just going to add some chapstick just to keep my lips a little bit natural. Um, or I'm just going to add a little bit of this lipstick. Just to have some what color to my lips. And then I'm going to go over it with some chapstick, which I have in my bags. Huh? 
Hold on. Let me just end this video. 4.30. Hold on. Let me end the video. I'm already done. Alright, you guys. This is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this get ready with me. And don't forget to subscribe. Also, all my social medias will be down in the description box down below. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.